It's been reported that Roberto Orsi, who was named as the director of the upcoming new Star Trek film, tentatively titled Star Trek III, has been removed from the project by Paramount Studios. Orsi had been given the job following the departure of J.J. Abrams from the franchise. Orsi has never directed a feature film before, but was one of the primary screenwriters on the previous two films. It is currently believed that Star Trek III will still aim for a 2016 release date to coincide with the franchise's 50th anniversary. John, does this move to remove Orsi as the director of Star Trek surprise you? Nope. No. <laughs> no. Look, I, I have said from the beginning, I am a fan of Roberto Orsi. I, I actually like his stuff. Has he written some crappy movies? Sure. But he's written some really cool stuff, too. And him and his uh, I, I, sort of on-again, off-again writing partner, Alex Kurtzman, they've done some stuff that geeks would dream of doing, and they do some really cool things. And I thought, well, look, if you're going to give somebody who's never directed a thing a movie like Star Trek, you might as well give it to the guy who knows Star Trek better than anybody and who wrote the first two ones. That's cool, but I never bought in. I never bought in. This is a huge tentpole film like this is not the right one for a guy to cut his teeth on on the first one. Now, some people, I was having a discussion with a friend of mine last night and saying, you know, you, you got him as the director, which is true, good point. Like, why suddenly bail on him now? He's your director, just stick with him and write it out. And I said to my buddy, I said, okay, that sounds like it makes sense, but this is too important to just ride it out. This franchise is so big and so important to Paramount, which isn't exactly killing it in the big franchises department right now. This film is so important to them and everybody else, the thousands of people who are going to be working on this movie are so relying on this. This is too important to just go, well, we picked him, so let's just write out. No, in, in situations like this, you have to go, look, we thought this was the right move. We've tried it out. Maybe it was the script that wasn't working out. Maybe they're just realizing his vision for this isn't what, what, what we want to do. We're losing confidence. If that's the case, then you've got, as a company, you've got to have the guts to say, we need to pull the trigger on this and take him out of the director's chair and hopefully get somebody else in on time. So do I feel f bad for Roberto? Yes. Do I want to see him get a chance to direct something? Yes, smaller, like Alex Kurtzman did when he started with small films. I do want to see it, but this is probably the best move for the project overall. Anyway, Christian, you heard about this news. Your thoughts? Yeah, I echo a lot of your sentiments and the fact that it's, it's it, we don't know. Maybe he lost confidence in himself in this. Maybe it got a little too overwhelming for him. And, and in the meetings, he was he, he's going through things. He's behind schedule already, and he's not able to keep up. Because like you said, this is a big first movie. And not only is it a big first movie, it's a big third movie of a franchise for yeah. your first movie. That is tough to handle for anyone. A, a regular director's got to really do a lot of prep. A, a, a seasoned director, let's say the rumors, there's rumors going around that Edgar Wright, they're, they're looking at him, whether that's BS or, or true, whatever. Someone like Edgar Wright comes in. For Edgar Wright to come in, that's a lot of pressure and a lot of work for a guy like Edgar Wright on a third movie. So for this, I don't care if he wrote the other ones. To be able to put that in there, I agree with you 100% in the fact that if the studio said, no, 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 this isn't working. We have enough time here. We can cut ties. Let's go put another person in that can make it happen with the amount of, let's get someone seasoned. It makes sense. I feel bad for him too. I'm a big fan of the guy, but it's a good move. Step. Yeah, I mean, it's the 50th anniversary of Star Trek. It's yeah. 2016. There's so much pressure riding on this. is the third in the trilogy. JJ's not a part of it. I think they were like, hey, let's, it's comfort to have the guy who was with JJ on the first two, and it just seemed natural. But I think just it just probably didn't gel. And that's probably wasn't, it was just a series of events where they're like, we actually need someone who knows how to direct. Because directing isn't just showing up and, all right, action, and like looking at the monitor. You have to like have your shot list. You have to, there's a ton of pre pro work that perhaps. Who knows what happened, really? I mean, obviously, he, he got pulled. That's, that's all we know right now. So, I mean, well, I'm sure things will come out, you know, in a year, maybe a month. Who knows the actual truth? But, yeah, I feel bad for him a little bit. But, actually, I feel better about the movie you know, overall. You know, because when we first talked about it, I was like, well, that's weird. Yeah. Get, writing is not the same as directing. You know, a lot of people don't understand that. But it's like it's a totally different job. That's weird that he just, oh, he plopped in there. We're like, hey, let's give him the benefit of the doubt. Maybe now they realize, let's get someone else in there. Maybe it's still his script. We don't know. And, and like, to just go on that, what we're not saying is, oh, because he's never directed, he should never be allowed to direct. Correct, no. Every somebody, I'm sure a lot of people are getting ready to type in comments to me right now. Well, everybody's got to have the first one. Yes, but your first one doesn't have to be a tentpole, multi-hundred-dollar, million 
franchise. Right. That's this, so there are different things. There are and baby a third steps. One. And, and a third one yeah. in the series at right. that. Anyway, Mark. Yeah, I mean, it's never good news. Like, nobody likes to do this. Nobody wakes up and is like, honey, I'm going to fire a director today. Like, yeah. We don't want that to have to happen. Having said that, I think that if this was, I'm trying to look at this, if this was Star Wars, right, we would be losing our minds right now yeah. because we'd be, oh, no, what's going on with the production? However, this is the third film in the franchise. So I think if the studio is going to meddle or they have a vision for it, it's still going off of what J.J. did in the first two films. So it's not as drastic of a change. I think that maybe Orsi was trying to go in another direction. They're like, no, we know which way the Enterprise is going. This is where we want it to land. What concerns me is the 2016 release date, where yeah. they're trying to dust it off for the 50th anniversary. And it's not like saying, oh, hey, let's get the Stones to tour because it's their 50th anniversary. This is like a big production, and I would rather have them take their time and have the 51 anniversary and be a great movie than have them rush it out just to, to for the sake of a number. Please. But they did, they did get in, uh, Marvel did get in Peyton Reed fairly quickly. Right. After the Edgar Wright thing, that seemed mm -hmm. to sail pretty smoothly. Well, we don't know how much it, like the, the vision is there. The same, the same thing with Ant Man. Yeah. You know, so, like, so the vision's already there, and they can bring in a director who's capable to nail it. I, you know, but I agree with you. If, if there's no plan for it, they don't know where they're going with it, and it's just a sloppy mess. And we need someone to clean it up. But if the plan is, we just need to go. We just need a captain of the ship. That's it. And you mentioned in Captain, well, I was going to bring up William Shatner. I mean, it could also be just personal. direct? No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Did you Lord, not see Star Trek please, 5? Please, Lord, no. I'm not Someone saying that. Someone get over there. Cool. Yeah. No, what I'm saying is they've already talked about him being in this third right, movie. Right. We don't know how he's interacting. Orsi is interacting with all the other actors. I mean, that's part of being a director is interacting with the actors. So there's a lot of things that we don't know why he got pulled. It's a weird thing to have somebody pulled. What's George after Lucas doing? <laughs> uh, is he busy? Yeah, if JJ you know, can leave Star Trek and yeah. go to Star Wars, get Lucas. <laughs> Lucas can go from Star Wars to Star Trek. Hey everyone, if you like this video, click that thumbs up button and make sure to subscribe to our AMC Movie News YouTube channel. It's free and helps you stay up to date with all the latest movie news, as well as our daily AMC Movie Talk Show. Also, make sure that you follow us on Facebook and Twitter to stay up to date with all of our special promotions, contests, and prize giveaways.